The new stickers in iOS 17 are fantastic and they can be used all over the place. And one of the main ways they can be used, that's kind of hidden actually, is in the markup tools. Now the markup tools are available all over your phone. For example, in photos or PDF documents, or if you're doing a sketch, and it's that floating toolbar at the bottom where you have the pen, the highlight of the ruler, those sort of tools. And as well as being able to use those to annotate a photo, for example, like this one of me here, I can also press the plus button and now I can add a sticker. Now when I go onto here, it's going to bring up the same sticker drawer from the Messages app, and I can use any of these stickers to add to my photo app. And excitingly, because emoji are now stickers as well, I can drag any emoji that I want onto my photo. So for example, this thought bubble, I can put it on there, I can make it bigger and smaller, I can rotate it just like you'd expect, and I can press in the corner to delete it if I wanted to. Let's add one more sticker, and this time I'm going for the Memoji stickers, and I'm going to choose a Memoji head to replace my actual head. When I found it, I can drag it on, and I can make it bigger and position it just as I like. I think that looks pretty fun. When I press done, it will then save that photo with the new stickers on top, and because it's now part of the photo, if I make any edits, for example applying a filter or making it black and white, it will apply to the stickers as well, which adds a really fun and interesting quality to your picture. But don't worry, if you decide actually no, I want to go back to what I had before, you can simply press the three dots in the corner of the photo screen, and then you can press revert to original. Then you're back to the photo you had before, with no stickers, no text, no highlighting, no filters, no nothing. The use of stickers in iOS 17 is a really cool feature, but it's quite hidden, like a lot of other features are this year. So if you want to be up to date with everything that's new, please check out this playlist now on the end screen. And don't forget, if you'd like to have more quick tips on your YouTube homepage, please subscribe to my channel down below.